In the previous installment, we practiced systematically observing and gathering evidence about our subject. Now, we'll look at three ways of stepping further. The first strategy is called, so what? Let's return to the World War II poster we looked at during Move 3, Noticing and Ranking. We noted that the use of German and English was interesting because it called into question who the audience might be. It's time now to look at that observation and push it further by repeatedly asking, so what? Until we begin to arrive at an idea. Let's try it. So what? Well, this is probably intended for an English speaking audience because the German is translated and commented upon in English. Well, so what? Well, if you read it from top to bottom, the poster might be intended to first frighten the English speaking audience and then encourage their defiance by the words, oh yeah? Okay, so what? Perhaps because of the historical moment, support for the war depended upon awakening both fear and an exaggerated sense of empowerment in the citizenry. As you continually ask of your observations, so what, you move closer to a real idea about what your subject is doing, how it does it, and why ultimately it matters. In the next installment, we'll look at a method called 10 on 1 that will help you generate multiple ideas from one observation.